That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh -huh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Idiots. This is Corbin. This is Freak. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. content. Thank you for yeah, coming yeah, on Patreon. Patreon. Follow us on Twitter for more personal YouTube channels. channels. Links always in the description below. Very sing-songy today. It's so juicy. Today. Anyways, today we are reacting to a new trailer. Um, is this? Yeah. I know there's a new one coming out, and I hope it's what I think it is. Malayalam. Yeah. Yeah. With Fahad Fazil. Fahad Fazil. Yeah. I believe. For, I, unless I'm, unless somebody told me I'm something wrong, I think it was all shot during the pandemic. Really? Yes. Yeah, so I don't know if it was shot like, um, like just on phones or, or what. That's this was something I heard. It was shot well, during the pandemic. You could do that with Locke, like you know, the Tom Hardy's film. He's just in his car the whole time. So, um, but it's called interesting. Letter C, letter U, soon. See you soon. B A B B E B. Okay. Uh, but this is uh, Amazon. Uh, it comes out September 1st. Cool. With, uh, the Legend of Hot Fossil. Yes. Boom. And anybody yeah. out there that knows how to be connected with that talented man. He doesn't have social media. It's we hard. would love to. It's hard to get a hold of him. So we would love, oh, to, love to, talk to talk to that, that man. man. Uh, 100%. percent love to see 10 more of his stuff, though, before. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Oh, I didn't turn on the thing. Darn it! Well, why don't you just whisper sweet nothings in its ear? <laughs> then it'll be turned on. Get it? What about simple somethings? <clears throat> I used to say I'm gonna whisper simple somethings in your ear instead of sweet nothings. What about sour nothings? Sour somethings. If it's sweet nothings, it should be sour somethings. Here we go. Morning. I am going to go to the house. 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 I am going to go to the I <laughs> Well, what are we watching now? Well, I was 
Okay, then. I was invested already. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh God, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. I don't even know. Which it looks like, if I don't know if this is true, obviously it looked like there were some people in sets, obviously. Mm -hmm. It looked like, because the people going behind that usually means it's it's a set of some sort. Some sort. Um, but like, I don't know if this was directed wirelessly from, right. from like, for Hot it looks like he was just in his room. Right. I don't. But if this was done like remote for a lot of that, one, incredibly difficult to do. Very. <laughs> Two, to have actors and uh, make everything believable and, and congruent and make yes. you also engage when engage. you know it's just, because I've seen like shows that do like entire episodes, you know, on their cell phones. Right. I think Modern Family did an episode all on Skype or uh, their cell phones at one point a few years ago. Um, but it's hard to keep you engaged yes in, in, in that style it is i mean i was pretty darn engaged just in the trailer 100 <laughs> percent, i was in fact I've, I've often thought about if i was to turn Andronis and my story into a film mm -hmm. it, it would have to include us on the phone because that's been the majority of our communication right mm -hmm. and i thought what a cool concept but how do you keep people engaged that long especially if what you're dealing is like with rom-com it could be done it, it's it's conceptually plausible mm -hmm. but the the editing in this mm -hmm. and the splicing and putting together of not only two different, like a Skype and a, a, a laptop and a phone and then a background behind that. Yeah. And we know just from having to do reactions mobily or interviews mobily, the technical difficulties you can have. And if people aren't interacting with each other, mm -hmm. the trailer makes it look like they've done a spectacular job. Yeah, because if, if this is wirelessly done, one, Y'all, the I, the editor is extremely important because <laughs> they have to color correct and make everything right. make people's want. Well, they probably send everybody cameras, obviously. If right, so they could use the same. I'm thing. thinking this is done all socially distanced for the most part, uh, and if that's the case, obviously they probably send everybody uh, cameras, but they have to make sure it's set up correctly, and then you have to. Like, there's a lot that goes a lot into that goes just a into shot, it. and think about sound. Yeah, uniformity of sound that you'd have to make sure of, and then fix and post, and then color correction you'd have to fix. Yep, uh, it's a it's a whole new aspect to it to make an if the whole film is like this. So it's definitely intriguing. What was the film that was done? Come on, uh, it was the it was the horror film that was all done on a phone uh, here in America. Cloverfield? No, uh, it was the, the other one. They're in the woods. Mm -hmm. Which one? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, anyway, it's a, it was a horror film that was done on phone. It's not the Cloverfield Lane? Mm -mm. No? No. The name is mm -hmm. escaping me right now, but I'm mentioning it because it did really, really well, and the entire film was shot on a phone. Well, <clears throat> was it shot on a phone or was it done no, on no, no, phone no. calls? It wasn't done on phone calls. The that's cinematography a, was a phone. Because that's completely different. I'm sure it this is. actually wasn't done on phones. It's, I'm, it's, I'm sure they different. sent them cameras or had cameras there and made it look like it's a phone. Well, maybe we'll get to talk to the director or to Fahad Fazil and find but out. But this is um, the director of, uh, we haven't seen it, but I've heard a lot about it, the director of Takeoff. Yeah, uh, I've heard a lot about that That's too. a Malalium film, I believe. Fahad Fazil is also part of that. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah. That's one of the ones that it's, it's high on the list of people recommending it. Yeah. Um, and so I'm... If the reputation precedes it, this, this looks so good. The director uh, looks really good. I'm, I'm intrigued by all the technical aspects that it goes into making a film like this. And, and obviously, I, Fahad Fazil looked incredible. And the story, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I was, I found myself intrigued as to what is going on. Why was she hit? Who's connected? There's definitely a. This is a crime thriller. I'm mm -hmm. sure. I'd, I'd imagine it's around an hour and a half. That's my guess. Because, I mean, unless it's just done really, really well and make, I mean, you could just have a really well engaged film at two and a half hours, but something that's like this. Well, no, I If it was shot during the pandemic, yeah. it yeah. should be a short runtime yeah. to keep your engagement up. I could be wrong. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, but it's really cool. Um, I actually want to read the. Uh... A man begins to suspect the intentions of his virtual girlfriend who doesn't seem to be all there. Yeah. That's right. Uh, September 1st. It's actually cool, too. Amazon Prime. What is the... Besides this, obviously, what's the next Fahat Fasil movie we should watch? Because we're gonna... I'm gonna... Like, he's just like Manoj and, 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 and Nawaz and people like that for, for me, and I believe you, of just actors that... What? I'm just having an idea I'll share it with you when we turn it off. It has to do with this. An idea I'm having for... 
this. Anyway, okay. sorry everybody. Uh, but let us know the next spot, for, uh, Trance, which I believe was his one that he came out with last year. I know he has a, a ton of other ones that he's um, done and we have yet to Bangalore Days, North 24. Uh, I can't even pronounce that. Here's the idea. Mm. It'd be cool if we did like a viewing party for a film. I don't know how we could do that. Or just like we all watched it at the same time. That could probably be something to be done on Patreon. That's what, yeah, it might be a Patreon uh, exclusive. Uh, because it would get copyrighted and blocked. And unless, and unless what we were doing is we were like with everybody and you did the three, two, one countdown. Well, that's what it would have to be. And we don't show the footage, you just show us. They just need the audio. Yeah, they need the audio. So like, but if the audio is on the video. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, I, I, I thought about that could be like a, a Patreon they could do yeah. a, a watch along type right, thing. Because if it's on Patreon, we don't get into copyright issues. So. Well, depending on. Yeah. Depending on, unless it's. Yeah. You never know. The tentacles of YRF are everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, let us know which next Fahat Fasil movie we should watch next down below. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding,